Okay, I want to now take a look at adding and subtracting in different bases. So, uh, let's for instance take the number uh, 357 base 8 and add that to the number uh, 245 base 8. So let's add these two base 8 numbers. Well, in order to add base 8 numbers, what you have to remember is that anytime you get a number when you add that is larger than or equal to the base, that number is actually a base 10 number because you added it in your mind and you add in your mind base 10. So for instance, when I add the 7 plus the 5 and I get 12, that's actually 12 base 10 because my mind does the computation base 10. I have to now convert 12 base 10 into a base 8 number. So what I do is I see what the place values that, I, that I'm going to need are. Well, in this case, the place values that I'm going to need, I'm going to need something in the 8 to the first spot, and I'm also going to need something in the 8 to the 0 spot. Because adding two single digit numbers, um, we're going to get a two digit number or a single digit number. So first thing I want to know for the 8's place, how many groups of 8 are there in 12? And it turns out there's one group of 8 in 12. Because if you divide 12 by 8, the quotient is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. And we subtract and we get 4. 4 is the remainder. 4 is the remainder. So now I need to see how many groups of 1, because now I'm in the 1's place, how many groups of 1 there are in the remainder? 4. And there are 4 groups of 1 in 4. So this is the base 8 number. 12 base 10 is actually equal to 14 base 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the 4, that's the base 8, and I'm going to carry the 1 to the next place over. Now I'm going to add this column. Well, let me see. We have 5 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 10. So I get here 10. 10 is bigger than 8. So when I'm thinking 10, I'm thinking 10 base 10. I'm thinking 10 base 10. But what I need is I need to know what 10 base 10 is if I convert it to a base 8 number. So once again, I'm going to need two places an 8's place and a 1's place. And the first thing is how many groups of 8 are there in the number 10? Well, there is one group of 8 in the number 10. And the remainder, when you divide 10 by 8, is 2. So the number 10 base 8, 10, or 10 base 10, is actually the number 12 base 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the 2. I'm going to record the 2. And I'm going to carry the 1. Carry the 1. So now I have 3 plus 2 is... 5 plus 1, that's 6. Well, 6 is the same base 10 as it is base 8 because 6 is a number smaller than 8. So when I add this column, I don't have to do any conversion because I get a number smaller than the base. And that means this addition actually gives me 624 base 8. All right, let's look at one more example of addition, and then we look at subtraction. All right, let's do, uh, how about uh, A, 3, uh, let's say C, and let's do this base 13, or let's do this base uh, 15. And let's add that to, uh, let's say 9, uh, 9, 50, uh, let's say over here, D, base 15. Let's add these two. All right, so what you have to remember is that in base 15, we have the number, the numerals from 0 to 9 are all the same. But the numeral for 10 is A, the numeral for 11 is B, the numeral for 12 is C, the numeral for 13 is is uh, D, the numeral for 14 is E, and the numeral for 15 is F. So we have to remember we have these numerals also, 10, 11, 12, 15. Oops, we don't have a 15. I'm sorry about that. 
we don't need a numeral to represent 15. If we had a numeral to represent 15, this would actually be a base 16 system. So we only need um, numerals to represent zero and all the um, counting numbers that are smaller than the base. So we have those letters that we can include uh, as numerals. So let's see here. But I'm adding C plus D. Well, C is 12 and D is 13. So adding C plus D is adding 12 plus 13. I get 25, which is 25 base 10, which I now need to convert to a base 15 number. So let me see. There's a 15 to the first place, and there's a 15 to the zero place, which would be the ones place. So let's do that conversion. How many groups of 15 are there in 25? Well, there are. there is one group of 15 in 25. And what's left over? Well, what's left over is 10. 10 would be the remainder. But 10 is represented by this numeral A. So when I add C and D base 15, I get 1A base 15. So I'm going to record the A down here, and I'm going to carry the 1. Now I have 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Well, 9 is a numeral in the base 15 system, so I can just record that 9. I don't have to convert that to base 15 because it already is base 15. And then I'm going to add A. A is 10 plus 9. 10 plus 9 is 19, but that's 19 base 10. I know that because it's 19 is larger than the base. Larger than or equal to the base, you have to convert it to that base. So, let me see. I'm going to have a 15 to the 1's place and a 15 to the 0's place, a 1's place. So I have a 15's place and a 1's place. In the 15th place, I write how many groups of 15 go into there are in 19. And there's one group of 15 in 19. And the remainder, when you divide 15 by 19, is 4. So 19 base 10 is actually 14 base 15. So the correct answer is 149, 149A base 15 for this addition. All right. Now we can take a look at some subtractions. And addition, you saw we had to carry, carry a 1. When you subtract, you're going to have to borrow. So let's take a look at doing this subtraction. Let's say uh, 321 uh, base 5 minus 240. Uh, 240 base 5. Let's do this subtraction problem. All right. So in this case, I'm just going to subtract in the way I normally would, but if I have to borrow, what you have to remember is that the thing that you're borrowing is not necessarily what you think it is. Let me show you what I mean. Well, 1 minus 0, I don't have to borrow to take 0 away from 1, so 1 minus 0 is still 1. So I didn't have to borrow there. So I do that subtraction as if I were doing it base 10. Now, 2 minus 4. I can't take 4 away from 2, so I have to borrow. When I borrow, I'm borrowing 1 from the next column over, so the next column over becomes a 2. But that 1 that I borrowed, well, because it's one place over, it's actually a 10 in this system. The 1 that I'm borrowing is actually a 10 base 5. So what I have to do is I have to think about what a 10 base 5 is. And 10 base 5 is really the number 5. So what I'm actually borrowing is the number 5, base 10. And I'm going to use this 5 base 10 to do the subtraction here. I'm not borrowing a 1. This is not going to change into a 12. The number that I'm actually borrowing, I'm going to do this addition in base 10. I'm going to take the 2, and I'm going to add it to the 5, base 10 to get 7 base 10. When I do that, I cross off the 2. Now, I could have done that another way. I could have also added the 2 base 5 to the 10 base 5, but it would have turned out to be the same thing. So, But it's a lot easier to do the calculation base 10. That way you can do it in your head. So the 1 that I borrowed from over here is not necessarily a 1. It's what 10 would be in this base. And the 
10 in this base is actually the number 5. 10 base 5 is actually 5 base 10. So I add 5 to the 2 to get 7, and now I subtract 7 and 4, and the difference of 7 and 4 is 3. And then I move over to the next column, and 2 minus 0, or sorry, 2 minus 2 is 0. So when I do this subtraction, I get, actually get 31 base 5. Let's do that again. Maybe I'll give you two more examples of that. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, 656 uh, base 7. And we're going to subtract from that uh, 400 and 50. Oops. Let's say, let's change this number. Let's change this to a 4. Let's say 654 base 7. And then we're going to subtract 455 uh, base 7. Let's do this subtraction. So whenever you borrow one from the next column over, you have to remember that it's not really a one you're borrowing. You're not just going to add 10 to that number. What you're going to add is 10 in that base to that number. So you're adding a 10 base 7 to that number, which is actually the number 7. So whenever we borrow, we borrow one from this column, we're actually going to add 7 to that number. We borrow one from this column, we're actually going to add 7 to that number. Because in this system, the number that we think of as 10 is actually the number 7. Right, so remember that 10 base 7 is actually what we think as, as the number 7. All right, that's the number that we're adding when we borrow. Okay, so let's go ahead. So I can't take 5 away from 4, so I have to borrow. I borrow 1 from the 5, it becomes a 4. But I'm not going to turn this into a 14 because that would be the result of adding 10 base 10. What I'm actually supposed to be adding is 10 base 7, and 10 base 7 is actually 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. So now I get 11 minus 5, and 11 minus 5 is 6. So I have a 6 base 7. And now I'm going to move over to the next column. All right, once again, I can't subtract 4 from 5. So I borrow 1 from the next number over. This becomes a 5. And to this 4, I am going to add a 7 again. So this is 11. And 11 minus 5, once again, is 6, and that's base 7. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. So doing that subtraction, I get 166 base 7. Let's do just one more. So the last one. Let's try, uh, let's try B, 3, 5, base 12 or let's say base 13, and let's subtract from that uh, 9 A B base 13. Remember, once again, since it's base 13, I'm going to use uh, the letter A to represent the numeral for 10. B will be the numeral for 11. C will be the numeral for 12. And those are the numerals, those are the letters that I'm going to use for those three numerals. I only need up to 12 because it's a base 13 system. Well, let's see. B is 11. I can't take 11 away from 5, so I have to borrow. I borrow one from over here. This becomes a 2. And this number, the 5, I'm going to add 10 base 13 to that number. But 10 base 13 is actually the number 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. So when I borrow here, I get an 18. 18 minus B, well, that's 18 minus 11. And 18 minus 11 is 7. So I get 7. And then I'm going to do this subtraction. Well, A is 10. I can't take 10 away from 2, so I have to borrow. I borrow 1 from over here. This because Well, B becomes A, or 10. And then I'm going to add. 13 to this number, 2, so this 13 plus 2 is 15, and now I'm going to do subtraction. 15 minus A is 15 minus 10, and 15 minus 10 is 5. And now I'm going to do A minus 9, and A is 10, 
10 minus 9 is 1. So on subtraction here, I get 157 base 13.